Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we'll see numerical based on energy or power signals. So this is how the question will come in exam. Determine whether the following signal is energy or power signals. So the signal is given as x of n is equal to 1 by 2 to the power n into u of n. So you should know about u of n first. So u of n is equal to what? It is basically a unit step signal it is equal to 1 when the value of n will be greater than or equal to 0 and u of n is equal to 0 for n is smaller than 0. So you should know this point to solve this numerical. Fine. Now let's move further and try to calculate the energy. So what is the formula of energy? So the energy E right, of a discrete time signal x of n is defined as summation of summation of the absolute square of x of n okay summation of the absolute square of x of n over the limit n ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity is it clear so this is the formula to calculate the energy of a discrete time signal fine now So, what is the value of x of n here? So, x of n is what? 1 by 2 to the power n into u of n. Okay, this. Right? Now, let's split this summation into two parts. So, in one part, we'll go from n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 okay so minus infinity to minus 1 1 by 2 to the power n u of n okay plus in the second we'll go from n is equal to 0 to infinity fine 1 by 2 to the power n into u of n square right now tell me we have seen this formula for u of n right which is basically defined only when n is greater than equal to 0 otherwise the value is what 0 so for limit n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 the value of u of n is going to be what 0 so this whole term will become 0 right so we have this part pending so you can write it as n is equal to 0 to infinity and the value of u of n during this period n is equal to 0 to positive infinity is what 1 so this replace with what 1 right so what is left mod 1 by 2 to the power n square right now 1 by 2 we can write it as what 0 0.5 0 0.5 square of the 0 0.5 is what 0 0.25 so this thing you can write it as n is equal to 0 to infinity okay 0 0.25 to the power n right Hope this much is clear to you. It is simple. So here you should know the formula for infinite, infinite geometric, infinite geometric series. Okay, sum formula, series sum formula. So what is this infinite geometric series sum formula? So summation of c to the power n over the limit n ranging from 0 to infinity 
this is equal to what 1 upon 1 minus c so you can compare this with this right both are similar correct in the place of c we have 0 0.25 so apply the same formula so by this formula this will become what this will become basically 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.25 correct now this will become what 1 divided by 0 0.75 it will become 100 so from here we got to know okay energy e is equal to what 4 by 3 joules 4 by 3 joules this is what the energy so you have calculated the energy successfully right now let's calculate the power of discrete time signal x of n so energy you have calculated now move to the power fine okay now to calculate the power what is the formula power p limit n tends to infinity right 1 upon 2n plus 1 right into summation of absolute square of x of n over the limit n is equal to minus n to plus n so this is the formula okay to calculate the power or you can say to calculate the average power of a discrete time signal now let's move further and calculate this okay so this is equal to what limit n tends to infinity 1 divided by 2n plus 1 okay summation n is equal to minus n to plus n and we can replace x of n by the original expression which is given in the quotient which is what 1 by 2 to the power n u of n right this square this much is clear now you already know the behavior of u of n u of n is always going to give some value when n is greater than equal to 0 that we know already so we can change this limit simple limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2n plus 1 so here you can change the summation limit so now put like n is equal to 0 to plus n okay because 0 to plus n the u of n will give what 1 okay clear and if the value is n smaller than 0 u of n is what 0 we already know this that's why I'm writing it like this now you can write the same thing like now 1 by 2 to the power n square clear fine let's move further and solve this now you can remove the mod sign when you square this 1 by 2 so it will become what 1 by 4 so you can write like limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2n plus 1 okay and this becomes n is equal to 0 to n and 1 by 4 to the power n so i hope this is also clear to you so 1 by 4 to the power n now you should know another formula which formula so we already see the infinite geometric series sum formula right this formula now you should know the finite geometric series sum formula last was what infinite geometric series sum formula this time finite geometric series sum formula so what is the formula formula says summation of c to the power n over the range n is equal to 0 to capital n is equal to what c to the power 
n plus 1 okay this minus 1 divided by c minus 1 so this is the formula that you have to apply here finite geometric series sum formula okay so this formula you have to apply to solve this particular case so when you apply this now next step is what so limit n tends to infinity 1 divided by 2n plus 1 now here it will become what simply 1 by 4 is there in place of c right so 1 by 4 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 divide by 1 by 4 minus 1 right hope this is clear to you okay now let's see this now here we already know li limit n tending to infinity so limit n tending to infinity so this expression will become what 1 by infinity okay 1 by infinity into into this n is what infinity correct so 1 by 4 infinity minus 1 divided by 1 by 4 minus 1 okay so 1 by infinity is what 0 so you will get 0 here so from here what you got you got p is equal to 0 so power is what 0 in this case so now tell me here we got to know that the energy the energy is what finite which is basically 4 by 3 joules so energy is finite and power is what zero okay so you can say energy energy is what finite okay and power is equal to 0 so if this is the case we already know that x of n is what called as energy signal in this case energy signal so hope this thing is clear to you fine so in the next lecture we'll see more numerical based on this energy or power signals so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thank you